In this episode, I make tea from four common species of evergreen trees. Which one is best? Stay tuned to find out. There are literally dozens of evergreen species that are good to make tea from. The four main groups, in my area at least, are pine, spruce, fir, and cedar. Within these four main groups of evergreen trees are many more subspecies. Although most types of evergreens are good to make tea from, there is a small number that are not good for human consumption. Therefore, it's important to familiarize yourself with the different types of evergreens that are in your area, so that you'll be able to make a positive ID. If you're not sure, then it's best to leave it alone. In addition, pregnant women should not drink any type of evergreen tea as a precaution. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, it's time to dive in. Evergreen tea is an extremely rich source of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, starches, and sugars. And unlike most other wild edibles, the nutrients that evergreen trees provide are readily available all year round. Although I've made individual episodes before on white cedar and white pine tea, my goal in this episode is to compare the flavors between the four main species of evergreen. More specifically, white cedar, white spruce, balsam fir, and white pine. I will also examine the general characteristics of each tree to help identify them from each other. For starters, let's take a look at their bark. Next, let's look at the needles, which is what I'll be making the tea from. As you can see, white cedar needles can't really be considered needles at all. They're really a hybrid, not quite needles, but not quite leaves either. However, for the sake of this episode, I'll refer to them as needles. Notice how the cedar needles are made up of many scale-like sections that branch out from each other. Next on the list are white spruce needles. Of the four different species, they are the sharpest and most rigid. They are also short compared to a pine needle. Here are the needles of a balsam fir. At a quick glance, they look like spruce needles, but look closer and you'll easily be able to tell them apart. Although they are similar in length, the shape is different. The end of a fir needle is rounded, whereas a spruce needle comes to a sharp point. As well, a fir needle has only two sides, making it flat, whereas a spruce needle has four sides. A quick test that some people use to distinguish fir needles from spruce needles is to roll the needle between their fingers. A spruce needle will roll fairly easily, but a fir needle won't. After turning the fir needles over to view their undersides, you'll see that each needle has two distinct white stripes along its length. And finally, these are white pine needles, which are easily distinguished from all the rest. As you can see, they are much longer than spruce and fir needles. Another unique feature of pine needles is that they grow in clusters. I can tell this is a white pine specifically because it has five needles within one cluster. Now, all the characteristics I just shared with you can be used to generally identify what main group an evergreen might belong to. However, there are other ways to further identify which subspecies each tree belongs to and to avoid mistaking it for a toxic species. To get an idea of what I mean, I recommend that you also watch my episode on white pine tea. I'll include a link for it in the description below. Anyway, after gathering some needles from each tree, I brought them home to conduct a flavor test. I placed the needles in their own jar. After boiling some water, I immediately filled each jar and allowed them to steep in the water for 15 minutes.
Then I strained the needles out. Right away I could see a difference between the teas. The cedar and fir teas had a green tinge to them, while the pine and spruce teas barely had any coloring to them at all. Although the coloring of the teas was subtle, their flavors weren't. Each tea was full of flavor and had their own distinct taste. So here are my notes for each one. I liked the pine tea the least. It had a sharp, acidic flavor that I didn't really like. Neither did Mrs. Outsider. I would also describe it as being slightly bitter. The cedar tea was our favorite by far. It was smooth, with a slight sweetness that none of the other teas had. The only way I can describe its flavor is to compare it to a white tea, but there really is nothing like it. The spruce tea had a slightly fruity flavor to it. This might sound strange, but its flavor was similar to that of wine gum candies, if you know what those are. Finally, we tried the fir tea. This was my wife's second favorite. It tasted slightly flowery. That's honestly the best way I can describe it, like an earthy flower. So there you go. Overall, I loved the cedar tea, I liked the spruce and fir, and I disliked the pine. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Please share in the comments below.